everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel iris budgets um this channel is all about me cash stuff and saving more to try and yeah just build for my future um today's video is going to be a cash stuffing video i will be stuffing for the first two weeks in june and also at the end of the video i am going to be announcing the winner of my 1k challenge um giveaway so stay tuned so in today's video, we're going to be stuffing £490. So let's just count it out and check that it is correct. So we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 360, 370, 80, 90, 400, 410, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85 and 90. So £490. So how is everyone doing? This cash stuffing for me um, is actually going to be for like the best part of three weeks really because I don't get paid again until the 15th of June. So I'm going to have to make this in my cash envelopes last. Um, so yeah, let's see what I've got left over for the last two weeks. Okay, so from the last two weeks, let's see what we've got left over. First one is groceries and in here I have £30. What I'm going to do is add 22 savings challenges, so I'll stick that in there. And then this 10 I'm going to roll over just because as I explained it's quite a long period until I next get paid. Um, and I've also got some coins in here. Sorry if that's loud. So I'll just shove that in there. I really feel for people who use earphones, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so that's groceries. I used the 30 pounds of fuel and I've still got, um, I don't know, over half a tank. Nails, don't have anything in there. Eating out, I've got a little bit left in here. Just a few pence. And nothing in spending. Okay, so for groceries, I'm going to be adding 100 pounds so 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 100 and the 10 that i'm rolling over so 110 pounds hopefully that should be fine the last week before i get paid i'm away in london so i shouldn't spend much of my own money there the thing is though like, I don't know what anyone else thinks about this, but I go away with work quite a lot, right? And there's like a culture of going out and socialising and stuff, which is great because we don't really see each other very often. But like, you feel inclined to go out for drinks and you in the end of going in rounds and stuff. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out a really polite way to say like, no, and prob the best way is probably just to say no. I'd love to know what your thoughts are because I end up just spending money and I, I really don't want to, but I don't want to like be boring and miss out um anyway right fuel isn't getting anything nails is going to get 35 so 20 30 and 5 my nails have gone up because i've started using builder gel i don't know when everyone else uses builder gel if they get their nails done but i must say they last longer with builder gel like i don't get really any breakage so i think it's probably worth it uh, eating out is going to get £20. And spending is going to get 35 20 £35. I'm hoping that'll be enough, but like I've just discussed, it might not be. <laughs> okay, so that is it for my cash wallets. Okay, so moving on to my short-term sinking funds. We're starting off with Hair and Beauty and it's going to get £20. So in Hair and Beauty, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75 and 80, £180. As I explained last time, I've delayed my hair appointment um, to July, but... I'll see how I get on because I'm desperate for a haircut, to be honest. Um, clothes is going to get £10. So £10, £20, £30, £40, £50, £60, £70, £80, £90, £100, £110, £120, £140, £150, £160, £170, £180, £180, £180, £180, £180, £180, £180, £180, £180, £180, £180, £180, £180
So we have 10, 20, 30, and 40 in clothes. Books has 10 pounds. It's not gonna get anything. I've still got my library books that I haven't finished yet. Um, making these challenges that I've been creating has kind of wiped my time out. So I've had less time for reading and stuff like that. So um, I think I need a bit more of a balance because I miss reading. And home is going to get 20 pounds. So we have 20, 30, 35, and 40. Garden has 10 pounds and I'm not gonna add anything today. Gifts has been wiped out. I've used it for my mother, for my niece, and I've got another niece's birthday coming up and I'm going to add 30 pounds. So that'll probably get used again. But then after this niece and Father's Day, I don't have any um, birthdays again until October, so I should be able to build this up, which is great for Christmas. Okay, so that is it for my short-term sinking funds. And now moving on to my long-term sinking funds. The first one is insurance, and it is going to get £30. So insurance, in insurance, we now have 50, 70, 90, 110, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. 180 pounds in insurance. Car tax is going to get 10 pounds. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Kingston. The property maintenance company is going to get five pounds. So it has 15. Christmas is going to get 10 pounds. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80 pounds in Christmas. So again, my target is about 300 and that is for nights out, food, etc. at Christmas time. Holiday fund is going to get £50. Pounds. So we have 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 700, and 50. <clears throat> I'm still hoping to go on this trip. What I've done is looked at, so that I explained last time the flights basically have gone up from when I first started looking from around £850 to £1,600. And I, I, like, I know it's a once in a lifetime trip, but I just cannot justify spending that much on a flight. And, but that's going from Newcastle. And so it's like a three stop flight. So what I'm gonna look at is going from Heathrow in London or just outside of London. Um, Flights at the minute from Heathrow are about a thousand pounds. And what I've also got is so last year when I went away with work, I was on an LNER train back from King's Cross to Newcastle. Um, I got on the 2 pm at King's Cross and I didn't get in the house till 1 am. So there was something matter with the lines. We were stuck there for hours and hours. So LNER have given me a first class return, um, which I think is valid for a year. So if I do fly from Heathrow, I should be able to use that train fare um, to get to London and then go across to Heathrow on, I think you can get one of the underground trains or the new Elizabeth line, I think. Um, anyone who knows, <laughs> let me know. Uh, which means that I don't have to pay for the train and yeah, and I can get a cheaper flight. So that's what I'm thinking about for this trip. Okay, trip fund was used last week. Me and my friends went to a spa um, for the night. Um, it was really, really nice. So it's going to get £30 to try and build it back up. Okay, and that is it for my long-term sinking funds. So the final binder I have is my um, savings challenges. The first one is my emergency fund and it is going to get £50. I did buy more wallets or envelopes from Ira for this. Um, so yeah, so I can colour in another one of these, which is awesome. So the savings 
plan or scheme that I've got with work, it's not going to mature until the beginning of July. So I'm just going to keep stuff in this for now until that matures and then I should be able to fully fund this. So that's the emergency fund. My energy fund, so keep the lights on for rising energy costs. I know Rishi, our favourite person in this country, has just announced that every household's going to get a £400 reduction in their bills and then we don't have to pay it back anymore, which is which is great. But I'm still going to keep stuffing this just in case that doesn't cover any like rises. Um, so today I'm going to add £10. So I've got £40 in there now. And I'll cross off another one of them. Okay, that's my energy fund. <clears throat> Rainy day fund is going to get £20, but also another £20 that was rolled over from groceries. So it's going to get £40. So I now have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, and 120. Is that right? Must be. And I can colour in two oops, of these. So let's do blue. And like I explained last time, hopefully this is going to go towards a new iPhone whenever I get there. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. Is that what I said? 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, yeah. Cool. All right, so that is my rainy day fund. And the last one here is my five pound savings challenge and it's going to get the last five as usual. <laughs> So we have 5, 10, 15 and 20 pounds in the five pound challenge. I think when the, when I do get quite far with this, which is going to take like a long time, um, I might add it to like a, a longer term savings challenge. Oops. Okay. So that is the five pound savings challenge. And the last one is the penny challenge. Okay guys. So I've counted this up and we have eight pounds exactly. So eight pounds. And I'm going to put it in my jars. Okay, and as usual, I'm going to go and take larger amounts first. So the first eight. And we have 357. And then we have 85 pence, which is this one. Okay, and that is the penny challenge done. Okay guys, so thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. I'm now going to announce the winner of my 300 sub subscriber giveaway. Um, and I said in my last video, I'm gonna give away one of these 1K savings challenges. So um, I've showed this in a couple of videos. It's a savings challenge with a tracker at the front and then it's got separate wallets every time that you wanna stuff money um, and the notes can lay flat. And also whoever wins this can choose which motivational quote they would like at the end of this challenge. These are all available on my Etsy shop um, in one, two, three and 5k increments. I've had quite a few messages from um, people in the US asking if I'm going to ship to the US. Um, I hadn't so far and actually I did consider it when I was making these um, that maybe there might be some people in the US or in other countries um, who would like to purchase this. So what I'm in the middle of doing is basically redesigning this and taking off the pound signs um, and just I might just leave it blank so that it can work really in, in most denominations. Um, and I'm also going to make sure that this envelope is long enough for a US 
dollar bill um, or the dollar bills that, that you guys have got, just so that obviously it will work for you. Um, and then I'll work out shipping. I think it's probably about eight pounds if you want it in a decent amount of time. Uh, so yeah, so we'll figure out whether that's cost effective. And if you really, really want it, I shall redesign, put it on my shop and yeah, it'll be available to purchase. So without further ado, let's get on with the um, random generator, which I found here on um, commentpicker.com. So you just put in the URL of the video in question, which was the subscriber giveaway. I'm going to filter duplicate users because I've there's some people commented a couple of times. I'm going to include replies to comments because I've noticed at least one person replied to someone else's comment to enter the giveaway. And then I'm going to exclude myself because I've finally gotten around to um, to replying to you all. <laughs> so yeah, so I'll get the comments. Oh, hang on, I need a, that's a turn. There we go. Um, so the number of unique comments is 41. I hope you can see this. Um, and then I'm just gonna start. There we go. So Chloe Smithy or Smithy has won the challenge and she put, hey, I'd put a deposit down for a house to rent because me, my husband and my two year old and my one year old are all in a two bed flat at the minute. And we are four to five weeks away from having our third baby. I love these savings books and I wish everyone good luck. Oh, I remember replying to you actually, Chloe, because I said, my goodness, I hope you all like each other because that is quite a small amount of space. Um, so well done. Congratulations, Chloe. Um, what I'm going to ask you to do is if you can email me um, at budgetsiris at gmail.com. Someone's already taken Iris budgets. I'm livid. Anyway, budgetsiris at gmail.com email me and I'll respond to you. Um, yeah, and we'll um, get this, whoops, we'll get this savings challenge to you. Congratulations. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you all so much for if you've made it to the end and I shall see you in probably my next cash stuffing video in a couple of weeks. Take care, everyone.